This is what it's called more of a very aggressive laser. Hi everyone. I am here. I am back from my Elise V beam laser treatment. This is really, really, really scary. So yeah, this is a very, very scary. I have I have done laser beam before, but I haven't done it um, this way, this level, because she did it first and it was not strong enough, so it did not make any difference to my skin. And the reason I did V-beam is because I have rosacea and my skin is extremely pink and red. And this actually really helps if you guys can tell. So this side is the worst. Okay, you guys, I guess mentally ready for this scary thing. So what happened on this side compare to this side? She said she tried uh, to do this from here and she said it did not, um, she said it was bruising too much and yeah, you could tell it's bruising too much and she's like it's not necessary to be bruised this much and so she said, okay, I'm going to lower the setting and then do the rest. So that's why everything else is not this crazy red. So the worst side is this. She said, always keep it like thickly moisturized. So my experience in this is I went, the pain was, the worst pain you get is actually this. This little guy is right here. So if she focused on rosacea, the redness, and the capillaries that are broken, that's why they're showing up as red. And and let's see, I guess if you guys can tell, I actually feel very comfortable at this moment. I think of uh, two or three hours passed since I did this. It's swollen, but I am not in pain whatsoever. It's I'm not even hot. So this is something to keep in mind, uh, but I am not, I'm kind of bummed. I do have four days, of four days off in a row and I can't go anywhere public, you guys. I mean, imagine meeting me in the street and I'm like, what happened to me, you know? So it's actually like looks more painful than it is. It's just bruised, uh, nothing is in pain. It's like actually extremely swollen. If you can see that yellow tint, this is from bruising and it, it's only gonna go worse. So this is day one, you guys. I'm gonna like do a little vlog so you could all like see what what's going on and how this is happening. <laughs> I just like, I'm very positive about this. I'm like, Hope it heals, hope it's all gonna be good and I'm not gonna have redness and I'm gonna look like a like white, like snow white. Oh, I, if I could be the most pale person ever, I would. I'm, I just don't like redness. I just haven't had it for too long. So I'm gonna be staying at home, making this little vlogs for the past four days, next four days. And then on Monday, I'm gonna go back to work and and I am allowed to put all the makeup I want, honestly. She said any makeup is fine and as long as I keep it super moisturized, maybe I'll be better. It's it's scary. But what would you not do for beauty people? What this is the only V beam laser located where I live. And I heard a lot of good things that it actually makes a difference. And that's what I want to do is I want a difference. Be Honestly. You guys wish me a good healing. Okay. Good morning world. And this is the day second. 
wow, I just got up and I am so, so swollen. It's crazy. So, I don't know if you can see, my eyes are like this small. Everything here is completely swollen. I think everything here got so much worse. Like darker. Well, I'm gonna put my moisturizer. So, this is the update day two. This is day four, and this is my results so far. I am a little more yellow on this side. I think these things are just definitely going away compared to yesterday. This like doesn't look as like bloody. So it's a good day for me because I could see that it's healing and I'm not I'm not gonna stay like this forever. So like a little relief today. So this is day four update. <laughs> My fiance told me I actually look cute. I look like from far away. Looks like I have um freckles. <laughs> I was FaceTiming him, but it doesn't look, you know, it's going away compared to yesterday. Good morning, and this is day five, and looks so much better. I think this side is so much lighter. yellow but I'm gonna try to do makeup and go to work so day five so here I put some makeup on You could see the dark marks. I only had like 2.5 seconds to put like a huge, huge layer of makeup. And it looks ridiculous if you're up close because the cream is so thick. It's just swimming. The makeup is just swimming on top. So if I just smirch it, it will be, ugh. it's coming all off. So today's goal is not to touch my face ever. Alright guys, I will keep updated tomorrow. So this is day six and I'm so excited because guys, this is so nice. For today, it healed so well. I 
won't need to put a lot of makeup on so this is like awesome so day six good morning this is day seven and this is my skin faded a lot and then I have this little guy which this thick cream <laughs> does not help I mean like to prevent it just makes a little in some cases it did like break me out a tiny bit but the nose is this is the only leftover from this side But I think in general, it's definitely lighter, a lot lighter. And I think I will just wear a tiny bit of cover up here. And that's it. And uh, let me show you guys what I use as a cream that she recommended. And I bought a big batch so I could use it every day while it heals. Also, also, one thing I want to share is throughout all seven days on a daily basis um a few times a day i would eat pineapple pineapple known f to reduce bruising and this is whatever she did all that purple situation is bruises so she highly highly recommended me to eat pineapple on a daily basis a few times a day so bruising can go away faster all right so this is the cream i used and this is not backwards or not i don't know aqua for healing ointment it's literally just vaseline or something literally oh petroleum 41 percent and skin protecting ointment but it's super thick and it's been helping and nothing crusted and i use this every single day and besides this guy it's been okay so this is seven day so i assume this will take I'll give two three full days and hopefully this should be gone good morning so today this is day eight day eight and woke up and this is my skin I'm sorry about this guy right here, but I'm surprised even after I put the ointment on, it didn't make it worse. I was worried it was gonna make it worse, but if you guys ignore this, this is what's left from that. So overall from far, I know, I know like this, it makes it worse. <laughs> The only thing is still healing is this little guy and um, honestly like it all went away almost just you guys could tell so this is day eight and I'm so glad that it disappeared so much quicker and I think hopefully that was the pineapple that helped a lot and just it's it's better i'm glad i'm so glad i was like i hope i don't get to be stuck with this face you know like that's scary that's scary. i never done this in this intensity and some people would heal like for three four weeks and i was i was scared because i watched youtube and i was like oh like how long did it take other people to heal so yeah um i'm so glad it only took like i would say with like no makeup 
I would say two, three days maybe, and it will heal and it looks, it might look like I got like sunburned or something and something's like left over. But overall, this is my journey and I will probably make another video later on, maybe like a month update and my rosacea update and comparison if it worked. But as of now, I could even on a camera tell that I have even skin tone like let's say compared this to this and that's what I really really hoped for is my face to look even because I would have like a sunburn red area all the time and now it it's not there so I'm so happy like I couldn't say it's not there maybe it's not fully there and I hopefully by oh, by the time it heals it's I'm finally going to have a pale face, <laughs> not a red face. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys next time, all right?